almost everybody has something that doesn't fit or that they don't use hiding in their closets. Well, this morning in our series, Show Me the Money, Lara Spence is going to show us how to turn your cluttered closet into cold, hard cash. It's so true. All of us have those pieces that we just don't want to get rid of, but why are you holding on to them? That is money, people. That green sweater, think of the green you could be making. So we went into three women's closets and we did just that. We all have one, a closet bursting with things you and your family will probably never wear again. So what are we waiting for? Let's turn that gear into green. In consignment stores and online, used clothes, shoes, and accessories can add up to some serious cash. On average, blouses can go for as much as $20, skirts for up to $25, cashmere sweaters can ring up as much as $60. But the big money comes with designer labels. A couture shirt goes for up to $100, top name jeans $65, and the best sellers, designer handbags and shoes, average about 250 cash in your pocket. You don't have to have designer luxury items in your closet. Brands that we all know and love sell really well on eBay. Things like From the Gap, J. Crew, they really hold their value. We dared three women to open up those closets and see how much money could be hanging amidst the old clothes. I'm on my way to my friend Kathy's house. She's got tons of clothes cluttering her closet that she has not worn in years. So, we're gonna make her some money. Kathy Brack is pregnant with baby number two. She says optimism is the only thing keeping her size sixes still hanging in her closet. Reality is, I don't think I'm getting into half these clothes, so I might as well make some money. This self-proclaimed outlet bargain junkie fills her closets with the hottest brands. She's got Gap button downs, Ann Taylor dresses, and even a brand new Tory Burch bag with tags still on. One of the most popular brands on eBay for bags is Tory Burch. So a bag like this can go to upwards of $175. All right, Kath, by the time you have that baby, you'll have big dollars for diapers. And maybe a little left over for mommy? Stay away from the outlets, mm. bye. Our next closet belongs to Denise and Paul Cavrell. Well, actually, it's an entire basement filled with Denise's old clothes. I'm thinking, how many clothes can one person possibly ever wear? But well, that's why I'm trying to give them away. But a lot like us, Denise has a hard time saying goodbye. Even though she knows she'll never wear these again, we hope. This was my prom dress, which, you know, I just, I hate to part with this because I have good memories. But there is real gold in them thar piles. Clothes she can cash in on like this polo dress, an old navy blouse, and something most moms still have stuffed in the back of the closet. A lot of meaning maternity. We may have hit the mother load. Someone sold her maternity lot for $405, and baby clothes too. But finally, closet number three. I'm about to raid my good friend Elizabeth Barth's closet. Hello, money. This former Wall Street woman gave up her power suits for more Playdate-friendly gear. Goodbye, suit. Even a flashy Italian designer doesn't make the cut in this closet. Should she keep this hot pink Giorgio Armani blazer? Yes or no, cameraman? Yes or no? <laughs> Put it in the bag, right? Put it in the bag? Put it in the bag. Thank you. We bagged these cute J. Crew wedges, a pair of Ann Taylor suede pants, and even this. What about this cowboy hat? Isn't that a cool cowboy hat? For someone who didn't think they had anything to sell, I think we'll do all right. So how many bucks are in these bags? To find out, we took them to Buffalo Exchange. It's one of the country's biggest buy, sell, trade chains. Their buyer looks for clean, current clothes in good condition, offering 30% of what they'd sell for in a store. We take all labels, all price ranges, and you get the, the money to take home with you that day. So how are we adding up? 62, giving someone 1860 to take home with them in cash. 570 to take home in cash today. 1140 in cash for the suit. 960 in cash on these guys. 420 in cash on this one. And what doesn't make the cut here can be sold on eBay. Just wait until our ladies see how we turn their hand-me-downs into cash in hand. And now the moment of truth. I am here with the ladies and we're gonna find out how much money was just sitting in your closet in clothing that you don't wear. We're gonna start with Elizabeth. I know it was hard, right? Parting with some hard. of the stuff. It was hard. I'm a hoarder by nature, so it was hard to like actually stuff stuff in the bag. But, but let's tell the truth. The pink jacket with very big shoulder pads, were you gonna wear that again? No. 
Well, no, I, well, then then someone else might as well enjoy it because my friend, that was worth a lot of money, $125 Ooh, online. Ooh, awesome. Your bag of clothing we sold. There's a place called Buffalo Exchange. We talk about it in the piece. You can see it online. We were able to get you, and I quote, $46.20. And your Ann Taylor suit that you haven't even looked at in years, <laughs> Those go for about $90 each on eBay. Wow. Are you ready for your total? I am. Here we go. Show me the money. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Hi, right, Kathy Breck. Kathy Breck, let's talk about yours. You did not wow. want to part with some of this stuff because no. you do love to shop, my friend. It's well, a sport for you. Yes, it is. And I have a partner right here, too. <laughs> help me out in that sport. <laughs> it is true. We, thought we like to shop together. All right, let's talk about some of your stuff. I'm going to give you some of the totals. So this hobo bag, we pulled it out. It is by Tory Burch. Big labels, big money on eBay. This, $350 because it still had the Whoa. tags on it. Whoa. This Kate Spade bag that you have never touched no. for years, no. $25 to $100. Whoa. And this bag of clothes at Buffalo Exchange, $153, Whoa. giving you Whoa. free money. Whoa. I know, I don't, I don't know if I can guarantee and finally, that. Finally, all right. So Denise, yes. you had a lot of maternity clothes. Yes. Why were you holding on to them? Is there anything you want to tell your husband and family? No, no. A lot of sentimental <laughs> value, and uh, but one honey bunny and one sunny bunny is enough. That's it. All yes. right. So it was time, right? Yes. It's, I think we can all say safely that it's time to say goodbye to the elastic oh. waistband. Yes, absolutely. Oh. All right. Well, you did really, really well. I'm going to give really? you your numbers. Okay. So at Buffalo Exchange, your bag of clothes went for fifty-two dollars and thirty-five cents. Okay. Okay. Your bundle of maternity clothes could get as much as $250. And then you wow. had some Tahari business suits yes, I did. that you didn't think much about. Guess what? Wow. Online, $120 each, giving wow. you, Denise, a total of... We don't recommend that you go out and buy new clothes, put it in the bank, but I know this one will.